Hello everyone, Lattice Lassamoyes from TheWanderingInvestor.com. So today I'm in Medellin at night. It's really beautiful here. And what I want to show you is quite unique. So generally speaking, when you invest in luxury real estate, you typically don't get very interesting cap rates or rental yields. Same thing when you invest in lifestyle real estate. But here in Medellin, it's one of the few places I know where it's possible to combine lifestyle luxury, in many ways affordability as well, and very high rental yield. So it's one of the few places in the world that ticks all of the boxes. So we're going to check out this penthouse apartment in El Poblado, one of the best neighborhoods in Medellin here with Mauricio. It's actually his apartment. It'll give you a good idea of what you can potentially get for not that much money here in Medellin. So this apartment is absolutely stunning. It's a two bedroom, three bathroom penthouse apartment on the 17th floor here in El Poblado with amazing views. So again, this the goal of this video is not to show an apartment, but rather to go into all of the numbers in terms of the return on investment, the yields, the cap rates, the expenses, how much rent you can get. But first we need to have a look at this property and these views are insane. Like in, entire views of, of all of Medellin, stunning. And there's even a little barbecue here and our favorite Swedish agent <laughs> here in Medellin, Mauricio, how Hi are you? guys, how are you? Cool, can you show us? There's this one thing I really want you to show the, the audience. It's this painting, really cool. Nice, right? Yeah. And it's from a local artist, right? Yeah, local artist. And here you have this little <laughs> secret. <laughs> nice. And signed as well. A little safe. Really cool. Something extra? Yeah. So this is the sort of luxury that you can expect here. Um, and the price is approximately $330,000 without the furniture. How many square meters is the apartment? 135. On the okay. first level, you have the kitchen and living room. On the second yeah. level, the... Uh, yeah. Cool. A nice kitchen as well with a social bathroom down there and views from the kitchen as well. And down there, if you look down, there is heated swimming pool, there's a gym, everything, and the, the pool has like amazing views as well. Um, 24 security, you can see the gate right here. So this is the sort of amenities that people want. All right, Mauricio, take us where the, where things happen. Yeah, tag along here with me. Lovely stairs. Thanks a lot. We come up from the stairs to the left. You have the smaller of the two bedrooms. I, I love the colors. Thanks. I love it. Beautiful. And here, very important. So yeah, TV and workstation because people work here remotely. And look at these views. Gosh, amazing views of Laureles. Stunning. And then whenever you want to go swimming, Boom, heated pool right here downstairs with these views. So Mauricio, yes. what is the target market for such an apartment? It would be a digital nomad who normally uh, comes from North America, one of the bigger cities. Uh, and due to the time zone, it's uh, very easy to work and live here at the same time since you're running on Eastern time. Yeah, this is very important. I mean, when you compare, because I mean, we'll do the, all the numbers in a minute. Second bedroom, so master bedroom, really nice, gosh. And also views, I mean, views galore. Look at this, just stunning. Gosh, yeah. We'll do, we'll do all the numbers, but essentially for between three and $4,000 a month, you can get a place like this. and compare this with what you would get back in New York or LA or San Francisco. And no wonder people are moving here in droves. 
All right, cool. So now we're gonna go back down and do all of the numbers in detail. All right, Mauricio, thank you very much for showing us your beautiful apartment. Thanks a lot. So for simplicity's sake, we're gonna do everything in dollar terms using today's exchange rate, which is 4,800 Colombian pesos to the dollar. So this apartment is being sold for 1.6 billion pesos, which is about 330,000 dollars for 135 square meters. So what is the monthly rent that you are currently getting because you're renting it out on a yearly basis, correct? It's 3,300 a month. Great. So Mauricio <clears throat> and I have all of his figures for 2022 essentially made $40,000 gross on this apartment. How much is the property tax per year? Uh, per year it's 900 USD. What about the common charges slash HOA? Per month, those are uh, 120. Cool, which is very affordable. I mean, just imagine for $120 a month, you get a heated pool, you have private security, the building is very well maintained, there's a gym, etc. so quite good. And the property tax, $900. Compare that with what you have back mm -hmm. in the States electricity, gas, water, etc. How much? It's about the same 120 USD a month. Okay. Internet? About $20 a month. Great. And then your company charges about 10% for property management. Yeah. And then you had, you didn't really have much in maintenance because the, the unit is brand, brand new. new. So I see in the numbers about $250 for the whole year in maintenance. So essentially net in your pocket, so including if you had really charged 10% to your management company, yeah. you would have made $32,000 this year on a property that is being sold for a bit over three, $330,000. So we're getting to a net yield before income tax of 9.6%. Yeah. So, and this is what I was trying to demonstrate with this video is that, again, like I said a bit earlier, when people invest in luxury, typically the rental yields, the capitalization rates are lower, but in Medellin, it is not the case. You can invest in luxury and have extremely high yields that are very hard to find anywhere else in the world because there's so much demand. Literally, there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions of Americans of North Americans, a lot of Canadians too, that are moving down to South America. They're looking to spend more time here because they work in the same time zones, they can benefit from a lower cost of living and overall a lifestyle that is a lot more relaxed. So Medellin is absolutely booming. I came here last year, a year later I came back again and things have involved, things have gotten even better. The airport is more connected than ever. I mean, there are direct flights to New York, to Miami, to Orlando, to Mexico City, to Panama, Panama City, to Madrid, uh, Buenos Aires, Sao Paulo, name it, you know, very well connected. Um, so people are coming here in droves. And a major catalyst that is about to take place is the fact that people are going to be able to apply for the digital nomad visa, which is very easy to obtain. It's just a bit of paperwork, mostly online. And you just need to demonstrate that you're earning, I think, a bit of... 600, about 600 USD with today's rate. 600 USD, are you sure? Yeah, 100%. It's three times the minimum salary, and the minimum salary this year is 1 million. 1 million is about 200, yeah. so 600. Cool. Anyways, people earning $600 a month are not your target market. Yeah. So in any case, people that want to rent nice apartments, they will absolutely have the means to be able to obtain this Colombian Digital Nomad Visa, which will make <clears throat> people come here and sign leases of a year, which they were not doing before, because before people had to obtain residency or they had to spend three months, and then if they were lucky and did a bunch of paperwork, they could extend for another three months. But essentially, people stay in Colombia was capped at six months a year if they did not obtain residency here. Yeah. And now, this is gone. So we're gonna see even more people moving down here and signing long-term leases. Personally, I am very bullish rental yields in terms of Medellin real estate, 
the country has a number of macro risks. Uh, you know, investors need to be aware of this. The people voted for a, a rather very socialist president, which is never a good thing for foreign investors. So we can expect a few negative things, such as higher taxes, more regulation, probably bad decisions for the economy as a whole. But the reality is digital nomads are going to continue coming here, Petro or no Petro, the current president. So if anything, it had a negative impact. His election had a negative impact on the currency, but it hasn't had any impact whatsoever on the amount of people that are coming here to Colombia. And it's possible to also rent this apartment. So daily rentals on Airbnb is not allowed. Can you elaborate on the laws here in Colombia in terms of short-term rentals? Yeah, so the law says that if you want to do daily rental, which means less than 30 days, the building needs to be a commercial building. And if it's not a commercial building, it's a residential building. And this is a residential building. And then you can only rent 30 days or more. So in most cases, I'd be very worried about such an investment in the sense that, you know, if taking out the short term market as a comp as a possibility, taking it away is a negative. But because of all the dynamics here, personally, I'm not worried. I'm actually here with a very close family member and I am a, I am here with Mauricio helping him find an investment for his retirement because he wants a property that will give him very good cash flow. And again, the cash flow is in USD because people coming here are mostly Americans. So even though you're buying in pesos, your rental income typically is in US dollars if you invest in the right areas where higher end digital nomads want to stay. Yeah. And we also did the numbers. It was an interesting exercise in terms of putting this in midterm rentals. So for at least a month. So people that want to stay here for a month, two months, and what we see is the reality is we had to lower the occupancy rate from 100% because you literally have a queue of people that want this apartment. Yeah. And we lowered the occupancy rate to 95%, increased a little bit the maintenance because when people move in and out, there are a few more issues that pop out. And we got to a net capitalization rate or rental yield of 10% versus 9.6 before. So not a big difference and why, and again, this is a, a, a recent phenomenon, people are coming here and want units for the entire year. Even people that are just coming for six months, three months, three months, they book a place for the entire year because whenever they come back to Medellin, they wanna have their own place. And so it's really a new category of people that are coming here. People think Colombia is this underdeveloped country, et cetera, et cetera. Absolutely not. It's quite developed, especially in the core areas of cities such as Medellin, and many high net worth individuals are moving here. So there's really a, a market to capture. There's still a lot of potential. So Mauricio, people that come to you and say, hey, I want to make such an investment. I want to get these numbers. Do you have other apartments as well, maybe a bit more affordable or for people that want to buy such a unit that's a bit old and renovated completely to their own taste? Yes, I would have four different apartments with the same category, with the same potential I would have in mind and be able to show people who come down here. Yeah, so I confirm there are many such opportunities here in Medellin. I encourage people to come here. Again, I took a fam very close family member of mine all the way from Europe to come here. The gentleman is retired. He doesn't speak Spanish and he's here looking at real estate and he's actually right after this, yeah. uh, right after this video. Um, he's upstairs hiding in one of the bedrooms. Um, we're going to sit down and we're going to make an offer for one of the places that you showed us. So there are opportunities here. So if you're interested, there is a link below. You can get in touch with Mauricio directly. There's a contact form and then you can have a conversation with them in terms of your potential goals here in Colombia. Yeah, happy to respond to any question you might have. And yeah, don't hesitate to reach out. Cool. So you can reach out to Mauricio in English, in Spanish, or, or in Swedish. Swedish. <laughs> All right. So if there are maybe five Swedish people following me, you can reach out to him in Swedish. Yeah. All right. Great. Okay. Fantastic. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks. You can go to my website, thewanderinginvestor.com, and sign up to the private list. It's entirely free. This way, you will be getting insider information as I travel around the world looking for 
opportunities. Lastly, feel free to follow me on Instagram at The Wandering Investor. I look forward to hearing from you.